Hello and welcome to this part two of how to resize your photographs and send them via email. All right, we have already resized the photo, so now we're going to go down and we're going to uh, start up Internet Explorer uh, by double clicking on the program. And Internet Explorer will load and uh, we'll see if we get uh, to our home page. Now, my home page is Yahoo, but uh, your home page could be different. Anyway, uh, in order to get into Yahoo Mail, there's several different ways to do it. But uh, what I'm going to do from the uh, Yahoo uh, front page is click this icon that says Mail. I'm going to click it once with the left mouse button. And then it's asking me to sign in to Yahoo. So I'm going to sign in. And then I'm going to click down here in the password field and enter my password. And then finally click the sign in button with the left mouse button. There we go. Okay, Yahoo has uh, loaded the uh, Yahoo Mail rather. And now we're ready to send a new email. So we're going to go up here and we're going to click this Compose Message button, which is right here, to start a new email. And it comes up with a blank form. And it's saying it's from us. And we're going to send it to my wife, which is uh, at email. Okay, and we're going to make the subject be... Uh, test pictures and then we'll click down in the body of the email and we'll just call it uh, oh we'll just say this is a test <clears throat> now we have our email all ready to go but we haven't attached anything to it yet so we need to move up here and you see this little area right here called attachments we'll click once with the left mouse button right there and we can see that uh, we've got a sub thing comes up here and uh, it says attach files and we'll click there and that launches a um, file browser now again we have to find the picture that we had um, resized in the previous lesson remember like I said you look on the left side of your screen in my case I had stored it in the um, default pictures folder and I'm going to click there and then the right side it opens up and I can see what's in that pic in that pictures folder. I could also uh, move this by bringing the mouse right about there, and it becomes a horizontal arrow. Uh, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger, like that right there. And we're going to go down, and we're going to find the one that I did. And there it is, Balandra 08B. Remember, the original was this one. So this is the one we want to send. So first we click on it, and that highlights it. And then we'll go down here, and we'll click the Open button. All right, now uh, Yahoo is attempting to load it, and you can see the progress right here. Um, there's a little indicator that shows whether or not it's done, and now it is done with its loading, and it's ready to be sent. So now we have an attachment. That's the picture we wanted to send, and all the thing that's left is to send it. So we move our cursor up and to this little bar up here. And there's a send button, and we click that once with the left mouse button. And it says that the email was sent to this recipient, which is right here. And we click the done button. And we've now completed the whole operation of first resizing the picture, and now we've sent it to the person we intended it to go to. Okay, I've shown you how to send a email with a picture attached to it using Yahoo Mail, but you might not have Yahoo Mail. You might have Gmail. Well, you know, we're going to try that whole thing with Gmail, too, just so that you know how to do it from there. All right, uh, first of all, we're going to go to Gmail. And again, it's over here on the right. It's asking me for a username, and I'm going to type that in real quick. And a password. I'm going to click in there and put in my password. And then finally left click with the sign in button. 
and it's loading in uh, the Gmail and this is what Gmail looks like when you bring it up now again we're gonna go over here to the left and we're gonna click this little button here that says compose mail we're gonna click that once with the left mouse button and we're gonna type in a recipient for our mail which is again is my wife And we're going to put in a subject. And finally, we'll click down here in the body of the email, and we're going to put in a simple message. Okay, now we've got the email ready to go, but we don't, again, we don't have, we haven't attached the um, picture to it yet. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to, click on this little link right here that says attach a file click it on once with the left mouse button and again we're coming up in our picture folder because that's the last thing that we selected we could have been in this folder but let's select the picture folder again and let's scroll down here to the picture that we resize which again is this one looks very similar to Yahoo Mail this time because this is a standard uh, uh, file dialog that comes with Windows and then finally we'll click the open button with the left mouse button one time alright now Gmail right away says that I have um, the uh, picture in here and it's ready to go and I could send it if I want to and I'll to do that up here on this top row of buttons we have a send button let's see what happens we're gonna click the send button one time with the left mouse button and it says at the top that it's sending And it's all it says your message has been sent. Now, in this case, it lets you even view the message. You want to view the message? There it goes. We'll click that, view the message. And there it is. Uh, there's our message to uh, uh, Oso oh Kathy. And it says this is a test, but there's our picture embedded in there. And they now are, have received the picture that you resized and you sent via an email. Thanks very much for watching this video series. This is Oso Negro.